Hello, first grade. Welcome to your unit six, week one, high frequency word video. Uh, this week we'll be working on the words answer, brought, busy, door, enough, and eyes. Our first word is going to be answer. Answer is a tricky English word because it has a silent W. So we have an sir. W goes behind the S, however, it is silent. Let's spell answer together. A N S W E R. Answer. I can answer a question that my teacher asks. I can answer my mom when she calls me, or I can answer the telephone. Answer. Say the word to yourself. Spell it one time with me. A N S W E R answer take your writing pencil or pen or crayon and write answer five times each remember every time you say the letter or you write the letter you say it out loud and when you're done spelling the whole word you say the whole word out loud Great work. Let's read the sentence. I will answer the phone to speak to my brother. Go ahead and read it one more time. Our next word is brought. Brought is tricky because it has the aw sound spelled O-U-G-H. Br, aw, t. So many letters for one sentence. I'm sorry, for one sound. O-U-G-H, aw. Br, aw, Brought. Let's spell brought together. B R O U G H T. Brought. Now, this is a very long word, so when we spell it, make sure you are spelling it correctly. Double check with the screen. There are many letters, but write your word brought five times each. Great job. Brought is a past tense word for bring. Let's read the sentence together. Sam brought her flute home from school. Go ahead and read the sentence by yourself. Great work. Our next word is busy. Busy is spelled B-U-S-Y, busy. 
Now we have a couple sounds that are not to the phonics spelling. When we see the U in busy, it really makes the I sound. The S is more like a Z, biz, and then the Y is making the long E sound, busy. You are busy when you are cleaning. You are busy when you're doing work. Busy means you do not have much time to do something else. You're focused on one task. Busy. Spell busy with me. B-U-S-Y, busy. Now go ahead, write, say, and spell busy five times. Great job. Let's read the sentence together. We had a busy day at home today. Go ahead and read the sentence on your own. Great work. The next word is Door, the or. Here we have the or sound spelled O R, but we do use a double O spelling for door. Door is spelled D O O R. Door. Go ahead, spell, say, and write your word five times. Great work. Let's read the sentence. Who opened the door? Go ahead and read it one more time. Awesome work. Our next word is enough. Enough. Enough is spelled E N. O U G H. Enough. Here we have the uh sound spelled O U and the s sound spelled G H. E N U F. Enough. Enough is a word that means if you have. A certain amount of time or a certain amount of things to do a task. Go ahead, say, spell, and write enough five times.
Let's read the sentence. Do we have enough time to play a game? Go ahead and read it on your own. Good job. Our last word is eyes. Eyes. Here we have two sound, long I sound I, that is spelled E-Y-E. -E. I and S spelled S. Eyes. We have two eyes. Eyes. Eyes come in all different type of colors. Go ahead and spell eyes five times. Good work. Let's read the sentence. Let's read the sentence together. My doll has purple eyes. Good job, boys and girls. Remember to keep practicing every day. Even if we think we have it, it only helps us even more and more to continue practicing these words every day. We want to know how to see them and read them. And then we also want to know how to spell them so we can use it in our writing. 